Hi everybody, it's Becky from Icing on Top Becky's Cakes and today I'm so excited because we're gonna make this St. Patrick's themed cake and I'm gonna introduce a new technique called the buttercream splatter technique and it is so much fun to do. Had some four leaf clovers, some rainbow rice paper sails. And if you haven't seen the rice paper sails tutorial, I'll put a link in the description so you know how to do the rice paper sails, but all the other elements of this cake like the splatter and the four leaf clovers we will cover in this tutorial. So let's begin. Okay, so does this look familiar? Cause we did something very similar in buttercream marbling. But what I do is I'm laying down some saran wrap first so that the splatter goes on that. <laughs> and then, um, or you could just do wax paper underneath. And then I'm taking my cake collar or acetate as it's called and I uh, have measured it so that it will fit all the way around my cake with a little bit left over so I can just chop that off later. And I'm gonna tape it down so it doesn't curl up on me at the very top where I know I'm not gonna need the buttercream because <laughs> you don't wanna put the tape where your buttercream's gonna be. But uh, so I just stuck it on both corners at the very top because I know I won't be using that anyway. Okay, now we begin the fun. Okay, here is my red buttercream just regular texture. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just pop this in the microwave for about 20 seconds to make it liquid. So when it looks like this, it's ready to be splattered. Now I chose to use a silicone basting brush to do my splatter, but you can use other things, a spoon or other things, but I really wanted uh, the stringy parts of this silicone basting brush to really <laughs> fling that splatter and I made a huge mess so I'm just gonna put that out there <laughs> don't like what you're wearing when you do this <laughs> or cover yourself you know you wear an apron right <laughs> or something anything <laughs> but this uh splatter is um everywhere especially if you use the basting brush you might be safer with a spoon but it's not as fun with the spoon I mean really just use the basting brush it's so much fun Okay, as you can see, I'm using my hand uh, to stop the brush as I fling it. And uh, that way it really gives that splatter because I'm banging it against something <laughs> and I'm covering my hand in buttercream. But uh, yes, anyway, it gets, <laughs> gets it across. <laughs> but my hand was completely coated when I was done. <laughs> But uh, this, this technique is loads of fun, especially if you're an artist at heart and you just want to have fun, or even if you want to do this with kids and you don't care what your house looks like, <laughs> go ahead and do this. Okay, let's get the next color. We're gonna get a nice bright yellow. This is, I use uh, Americolor colors because I like how bright it makes it. But there are some other gel food colorings out there that get nice and bright, but uh, we gave that 20 seconds and it is liquid. And now we're gonna do the fun technique again with this one. Okay, so getting out a clean silicone basting brush or whatever you're using, we're just gonna fling this around. I thought I was being more cautious this time, but Nah, it's still gonna get it everywhere. <laughs> but okay, just make sure you're covering all that acetate and of course all the spillage is gonna go over onto your saran wrap or wax paper, whatever you've placed down underneath, please have placed down something because <laughs> you're gonna have a huge mess if you haven't. You're gonna have a huge mess anyway, probably. Probably, if you're like me, you will. So my goal for this cake was to incorporate all the colors of the rainbow and we're doing three of the colors this way and you'll see how we add the other colors in a minute here. Here's purple. Now blue we're going to add in a different way so stay tuned for blue. But anyway put that in for 20 seconds it also darkens your color if you notice so that's a pretty cool technique. Now I'm going to do my final splatter and I'm going to make sure that I uh, definitely have the bottom here completely covered. The top I know I'm gonna be trimming off anyway, so I don't need to concentrate on the very top of this, but uh, it's gonna get everywhere anyway, so <laughs> here we go. You can't bring me down. You can't stop me now. <laughs> Look at my hand right about now. It's just completely covered in buttercream. Oh man, but uh, yeah, this is so much fun though. Um, I felt like a little kid doing this. It was awesome. 
So here's my quick icer tip, and this is how we're gonna incorporate the blue. I'm gonna start at the very bottom, and uh, one uh, corner I don't need to get all the way to, but this far corner, I'm gonna get all the way to the far corner, all the way to the bottom, kind of overlap to make sure I don't miss anything. And I'm just gonna pipe that buttercream all the way down to make sure I have full coverage of all this area. And what's this, what this is gonna do is this is gonna uh, be the base for the cake color and everything and um, it's gonna also stick everything to your cake really good. Now, especially since it's so textured on the other side, we're gonna wanna really press this in with our offset spatula and that'll kind of press it out a lot of those bubbles if you're just gonna kind of press it in back and forth, back and forth press it down so those uh, bubbles and stuff get worked out. So that's what we're doing right now, is working out the bubbles that we'll be sure to see on the other side if we don't press down. After we're done pressing down back and forth and making sure that all the bubbles have been pressed out on the other side, then we're just gonna take it and smooth it so it's all even. And that way when we press this into the cake, it'll be a very even coat and it won't be lumpy <laughs> once we get it on the cake. So now I have my crumb coated cake here. I gave it a little spatula swirl at the top with the red buttercream. And I'm taking the tape off of my acetate here. And um, then I'm going to very gently lift this up. And you're gonna see some of it come away on the plastic wrap down there, but you're just going to slowly pull that up and it'll give you a straight edge on the bottom so you can tell what the bottom side is by the side that is completely covered. I'm going to carefully line this up, get a better grip on it, and I'm going to start with um, this corner right here and just wrap it and make sure that the bottom of the acetate lines up with the bottom of the cake and then we can slowly bring this around. And we're just gonna pull it in tight and press it as we go and see, we'll let this part overlap and that's all right because we're gonna cut that with scissors. But first I wanna press it in to make sure we have the length we need before I cut it. And I'm using a fondant smoother to kind of smooth that acetate back and forth and that'll press the buttercream into the buttercream that we've just crumb coated on the cake and that'll have it stick real nice and give us a really straight finish for our cake. And as you can see the splatter, oh, it's so exciting, <laughs> so fun. Then we'll just take our scissors and we cut down straight where the ends will meet together. And that makes this part really easy. And that way we make sure it meets up and we don't have extra buttercream that we don't need. And I'm just going to smooth that all in again. As you can see, I'm wearing buttercream, as is my habit when making a cake like this. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go ahead and smooth that with the fondant smoother all the way around. Making sure it's all pressed in good so we don't have any bulging anywhere. And then once we get this all smooth really good, we're gonna pop it in the freezer and I'm gonna give it an hour actually because I just wanna make sure that it is real solid before I try to pull this off. All right, here we go, it's been an hour. Now we get to gently pull this off and peel this back. Oh, I'm so excited to see what the finished look is. Oh, that is so cool. I love this technique. It is actually really easy to do and it's super fun. And if you ever have a hard time getting smooth cakes and stuff, well, here you go. Just put, slap some of this on and there you go. Completely smooth cake. All your buttercream on in a cool splatter technique. Oh, it's so fun. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a bowl of hot boiling water which I normally do anyway when I'm smoothing a cake. Um, and I'm gonna get my cake scraper, my bench scraper, and I'm gonna get a hot knife, and I'm gonna use the hot knife around the top 
I kind of still want a jaggedy look to the top, but not quite as jagged as what it is right now. So I'm going to dip my uh, sharp knife in the boiling water and then I'm going to wipe it with paper towel so I'm not dripping water onto my cake. And I'm going to go ahead and trim around the top to make it look the way I want it. Okay, so here's my bench scraper. I dipped it in the boiling water, wipe it off, and then just give it a whirl around here, just slightly scraping off a thin layer of this buttercream, and that kind of uh, smooths it out all the more. You don't have to do this, I just like it for a nice finish. Okay, so I added some color splatter rainbowy uh, rice paper sails, and I'm not gonna show you again how to do those because I don't wanna bore you by showing you something I've already done in a tutorial. So instead, I'm just gonna link below how I did the rice paper sails, and um, you can go follow that tutorial. And rice paper sails are something that's easy, fun, and really adds something to your cake. So right now, I'm adding some gold coins. Now, the gold coins, if you're wondering how I made these, these are just modeling chocolate. Um, if you saw the Sonic uh, tutorial, when I made the Sonic rings out of modeling chocolate, well, these are the inside, the little round parts. So you just basically roll it out. The easy modeling chocolate recipe is also there. And um, then you just cut out these little pieces. Now, they were uh, a yellow color. And what I did is I just popped them in a Ziploc bag and I stuck just a teeny bit of vodka in there and I shook it so that they were all coated slightly with that. They were slightly damp. And then I went ahead and put my gold uh, dust in there. I always use the wedding gold from the sugar art store whenever you see me using gold, which I'll be using again here. And I shook a little bit of that in and I just coated it completely in gold. So voila, gold coins that I am strategically placing around the top to be kind of the pot of gold feel at the end of our rainbow. And uh, I had a lot of fun with this cake. If you couldn't tell, this is a fun cake. <laughs> Lots of different fun techniques for it. Now, what does this cake need? We need green, we need four leaf clover. So I'm gonna use a 103 tip. It's a petal tip. It's just slightly smaller than like a, a 124 that you usually use for like piping roses or something. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and pipe these right on the side of the cake. Now how I make these is the narrow end is always out for each of these leaves. And I have my finger in the way so you can see that first one. But basically I'm making a heart motion. Um, let's see if I can do this. And then I go in the opposite direction. The thick end is towards the, the middle and the narrow end is always out. We always want the narrow end of the tip on the outside. Just a little heart motion and always pull in towards the middle. So I do one side directly opposite and then the overlapping one and then directly opposite. So there's a four leaf clover. Right, we'll add the tails later after this. The stems, they're not tails, they're stems. Here we go. Now, if you don't like the idea of trying to position yourself to pipe these on the side of the cake, you can do it like you do buttercream roses and you get a square wax paper, you pipe it on a rose nail, that way you can spin it real easily and um, then you can just stick them in the freezer. So you do a, a whole bunch of these, stick them in the freezer, then you can just use a little bit of fresh buttercream and on the back of them and just pop them on the cake exactly where you want them to go. So don't be intimidated by piping on the side of the cake. If you don't want to, easily just pipe them on some wax paper, freeze them, pop them on the cake. And um, that's, that's totally a way to do it if you're intimidated by piping on the side of a cake. Okay, we're gonna switch out for the writing tip and we're gonna add those stems to each of these. And I'm just gonna have them go every which way just to have a really fun, keep with the whimsical look that we're going on here. Okay, so I wanted to add something extra magical to it. So I am getting out my gold leaf and I'm just taking pieces of it with my cake tweezers and with a little, uh, paintbrush and I am just gonna place those kind of 
in a sweeping motion, framing my four leaf clovers. I'm just gonna kind of dot those on. And uh, gold leaf is just really a really fun feature. This is a, a edible gold leaf you can buy it on Amazon or many other places. But um, yeah, I had, I had fun applying some of this gold leaf to the cake because it just adds a fun element to it. And then finally, we're gonna get out our gold luster dust and a little bit of vodka, and we're gonna be painting around the edges to really highlight this uh, edge, this uh, kind of jagged edge we have going on here. And I also wanna apply it to the edges of the sails and to my four leaf clovers, just adding those cool highlights to each thing. And uh, this gold dust is uh, from the Sugar Art Store, as I mentioned before, and it is called Wedding Gold. And I can just add just a little bit of vodka until it's a, a paint kind of texture, and then you can just paint it wherever. And it's so much fun to use because it's really uh, beautiful. I love the different dust they have at the Sugar Art Store. Thanks for joining me today. I had so much fun making this cake with you and please subscribe to my channel and check out any of my other cakes. Bye.